Hey, what's up? This is John Z from SplitBreaks.com. But right now I'm chilling with my people on Hip Hop Vancouver. I got none other than Demrick from LA, West Coast. What's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up with it, bruh? Yeah. Good to see you. Yep. Yo, welcome to Vancouver, man. Have you been here before? Uh, yeah, I've actually been here before, yep. A couple years ago with the exhibit, I was here. This is my first time that I, I think that uh, we have a lot of off days and in between days on this tour out here. So I'm going to really get to see what's going on with Vancouver hip hop culture and just yeah. the culture in general of being out here. Yeah, yeah. And you're from Spokane, Washington originally, right? Yeah, I was yeah. born in Spokane, but just as like really young, I actually yeah. was raised in Philadelphia and uh, yeah, now I live in California. Yeah, you live in California. Um, you know, I've been hearing from uh, some, some people, they say Demerick is that new dude from the West, but you're not really necessarily a new dude or a rookie off the block. Tell us a little bit about your background and your resume in, uh, in this game. Well, I actually, uh, my very first thing that I ever put out was a, was a DJ Ski mixtape, uh, Audio Hustlers Volume 1, that was produced by uh, Be Real, and that was in 2009. Okay. And then Smoke and Mirrors came out, which was his solo album. Then I had a song on one of Muggs' records. Then I had some songs on X's records. So just gradually over that time, just been building up in the ranks. Like I always was rapping in a group. Like I never had recorded a solo song. Okay, this, this is a brand new yeah, venture for Yeah, me. so, oh, uh, yeah. you know, basically when you start doing that, when you break free, you got to stand on your own too and become an artist. And I actually had got some good opportunities right off the top. So it's almost like I've grown up. You know, right in front of people as far as like artistry is concerned and yeah. the way that I'm writing my songs and how I became what I was then and what I am now. It's like you can see the progression of what I've turned into. How would you describe your sound, or your style of rapping? Like, what does Demerick uh, represent? Uh, I, definitely, I definitely, you know, am anti-radio, anti all that, you know, the, the norm and just being different and being creative and, uh, you know, taking this wordplay and penmanship and, and uh, giving you a piece of my life, you know, and taking it real seriously when I do it. But having fun at the same time, but uh, I definitely pay attention to the crowd. And you mentioned uh, that you were in a group, and uh, that group is, of course, uh, Serial Killers with Be Real and Exhibit, yeah. uh, two huge vets in the game. And you toured extensively with them as well. Um, and I'm just curious, uh, since you've been around Exhibit so much, has, have you ever seen a pimp anything other than a ride? I never, I wasn't even around when he was <laughs> pimping rides. Yeah, so. <laughs> I ain't never seen him, you know. Uh, <laughs> no. We spent a lot of time with each other, you know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, your new album, Losing Focus, it drops uh, February 24th. Uh, yeah. And it's going to be on Battle Axe Records. Um, and I've seen you tweet that uh, Bax War members have been kind of showing up to your shows lately. Uh, tell me about uh, getting involved with Manchild and how that whole relationship came to fruition. Um, well, they called me to open up for a show that he was doing in LA. and. Um, I think that he came in like halfway during the set and him and his team seen what I was doing and and asked me to come play the record. So I came and played it because I was going to put it out myself because I spent a lot of time working on it. So I just was, you know, just want to be independent with this album in general was the approach that I took with it. That's why I even called it Losing Focus. So uh, I went and played it for him and his team and, and they understood the vision and helped uh, put a plan, some pieces in, in place to make sure that... Uh, the record gets heard on on the right kind of levels right and they introduced me to the battle axe warrior family that's crazy because it's something that i'm really glad that i got an opportunity to see and that's know that now that it exists and all the people all the fans like these are real fans that really love music so to be able to get an introduction like that through match out to those people is a blessing you know and uh i'm happy to be out here representing yeah no doubt um Let's talk battle rap here for a minute. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, Mad Child is going to be battling in the upcoming uh, KOTD Blackout 5 I think event. I heard something about that. Yeah, yeah. This is his second time battling in King of the Dot, actually. Okay. Um, I'm curious, have you heard any of the bars that he's been writing for his upcoming match? Uh, no, 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 no. I can't get no secrets away because you already know the opponents or whoever it is yeah. is out there watching, trying to, you know, see what they can see. So just just know that... that uh, Match House pen game is sharp, man, and you know I've been in the studio with him working on music, so I already know, you know, he's he's vicious with it, so I'm excited to see what he's gonna come with. Yeah, for sure. And battle rap itself, it, it, as a subgenre of hip hop, is becoming just more popular by the day, and more. I definitely watched the Cassidy battle yeah, and all disaster. that shit. Yeah, yeah, with disaster. Yeah. You were at the Ether event, I think. I, I went online. to the yeah. event. Yep. Uh, Hopson hit me up to roll to the event, so me, Hopson, Dizzy Wright, and DJ Hopper 
all hopped in and rolled out and watched it and and it wasn't just us it's like everywhere you look like i looked over there's crooked eye i looked over here you know x showed up so we all kicking it together it's like a lot of the community was was in there you know people who who take this rapping thing seriously wanted to see something like that and I, i'm interested in battle rap i it's not really my forte i i'm, I'm not really a battle rapper like that but I respect the crowd. Yeah, as as more and more mainstream artists kind of try out battle rap, is that something that you like seeing? Uh, like, are, is are you entertained by that? Like, what do you think about these guys coming in? Yeah, like, hell yeah, because I mean, there's the element comes from when everybody started rapping, no matter what it was, whoever they were, you started in a cipher. Yeah. Nobody wrote a first rap and kicked it on the mic. It started before you ever thought to put words on the page. You started in a circle with some people yeah. just seeing like, yo, I can put words together on time. So, Do you ever think that maybe as, uh, as it grows in popularity and more mainstream artists get into it that they might be trying to you know, get a cash out, try to get a quick paycheck out of the culture? Or? I mean, not necessarily because that's like saying that if you – if you were a rapper and then you go do a DJ gig like that, are you trying to do it for money or no? It's just another element of hip hop. Right. And as a rapper, you got to understand this. We all have egos. We all think we're the best. Like, man, I don't think that I'm not looking at other people besides legendary people that I think are better than me. Right. Yeah, you know, it's just the way that I, I mean, that's the way I feel like an MC should feel. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter if you sold platinum records or you sold no records like the the craft of doing battle rap is its own thing. Like uh, the way they perform, the way they're on stage, the way they project their presence is like a special thing. So if me, if if I'm already on one side of it, why wouldn't, what's wrong with going over there and seeing what that side is? It's a different kind of thing. Like you, if you look at the stage presence of a successful battle rapper, it's different than the stage presence of a successful mainstream rapper who's rocking shows. You're rocking shows, the set, you're doing the same thing, but in different ways. So why wouldn't you, if you're an, an MC, want to, you know? Go over there and see what's going on. For sure, for sure. So we're looking forward to seeing Match Hub perform at uh, the KOTD coming up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. And uh, now with more hip-hop artists, you know, popping up on the daily, there's just so much music to check out nowadays and so many artists to keep up with. Uh, it, it's, it's hard at times, you know, honestly. And with magazines like XXL and The Source kind of fading away into obscurity, how does somebody like Demerick stay relevant and remain relevant and stand out in that crowd? I mean, I think the way that you put out music now is different than the way that I guess that the uh, the norm was when those magazines were at the height of, of their success and it's we got we got hiphopvancouver.com we got your website we got those are the new double xls of today like you know the regions are smaller it's like more direct you talk to more people more people spread the word and that's how your music gets out there staying consistent and putting out quality work and making sure you stand behind your shit yeah. before you try to put it out there to get other people to stand behind it because some of these people get records before they're ready and that's how you disappear so quick yeah yeah what do you want people to know about Gemma? Just to take a listen to my music, just know that I represent the coast, I represent California, I represent the marijuana culture, and I represent good music, good hip hop. Yeah, man. And uh, from listening to your music, and you just said, like, you like that sticky. So, how does Demrick, how does he enjoy Split Break? Well, I think, like, right now, it's like I'm, I'm smoking a lot of Paris OG, I'm smoking a lot of uh, Jet Fuel. I mean, those are the my two buds of choice you know my flavors that i like some of that tangy sometimes and just getting into the flavor aspect of it understanding the high and just twisting up raw papers and uh, uh funky field tips you know okay. b-rails glass tips okay. blazing up and just relax okay cool man this is demrick this is john z and demrick chilling on hip-hop yeah. vancouver man bang peace